we should have had a new fighter jet a long time ago, but we didn't. Now we're dealing with this problem. This CF-18 is supposed to be on its way out and new jets on their way in. But a new report from Canada's Auditor General claims the Canadian government is mishandling the management of our current CF-18s. Michael Ferguson says we don't have enough pilots or crew to run them. All that while we're expecting a shipment of used CF-18s from Australia. Canada is trying to meet its NORAD and NATO obligations to supply combat fighters, but this report claims it won't be able to do that under the current plan. Originally, Canada had planned on purchasing Boeing Super Hornets until a spat with Bombardier scrapped the idea. The interim plan? Purchase more used CF-18s from Australia. We will be looking at options to modernize those. This will help reduce that gap. It's not going to completely eliminate it, but this is why we're going to be uh, aggressively pursuing the uh, to open a transparent competition of the future fighter replacement. There is currently a 22% shortage in technical staff to service the aging CF-18s. That, coupled with an ongoing shortage of pilots, has the official opposition fuming. We are calling upon the government to cancel the purchase of buying used Australian fighter jets and immediately open up the competition to replace our current fleet of CF-18s. Ferguson also pointed out that purchasing used CF-18s would not solve any problems without pilots to fly them or crew to maintain them. But Sajjan says the government is working on it. Direction has been given um, uh, through General Vance to making sure that the Air Force starts recruiting um, more pilots. We're looking at the areas of where uh, and the reasons why some pilots are also leaving and how we can uh, ease, ease, ease that burden. When asked how the government plans on doing that, the minister said he's leaving it up to recruitment officials. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.